Hello everyone, uh, my name is Tian and I'm from Microsoft Research AI for Science. I'm excited to be here to share with you MetaGen, our latest model that brings generative AI to Matthews Design. Matthews Design is the cornerstone of modern technology. Many of the challenges our society facing today are bottlenecked by finding a good material. For example, if we can find a novel material that conducts lithium very well, it will be a key component for our next generation battery technology. The same applies to many other domains, uh, like finding a novel material for solar cells, carbon capture, and quantum computers. Uh, traditionally, uh, Matrix design is conducted by search-based methods. Uh, we search through a list of candidates and gradually filter on them using a list of design criteria for the application. Uh, like for batteries, we need the materials to contain lithium and to be stable, to have a high lithium-ion conductivity. And each filtering step can be conducted using simulation-based methods or AI emulators. Uh, at the end, we get a five to 10 candidates uh, that were stable, that were sent into the lab for experimental synthesis. Uh, in Metagen, we hope to rethink this process with generative AI. We aim to directly generate materials given the design requirements for the target application bypassing the process of searching through candidates. You can think of it as using text image generating models like DALI to generate the images given a prompt, rather than needing to search through the entire internet uh, via, for images via a search engine. Core of Metagen uh, is a diffusion model specifically designed for materials. Uh, a material can be represented by its unit cell, the smallest repeating unit of the infinite periodic structure. It has three components, atom types, atom positions, and periodic letters. Uh, we, designed the forward, we designed the forward process to craft all three components uh, towards a random structure, and then learn a model to reverse this process uh, to generate a novel material. Conceptually, uh, it is similar to uh, using a diffusion model for images, but we build a lot of inductive bias, like equivalence or periodicity into the model, because we're operating in a sparse data regime, as in most scientific domains. Given this diffusion architecture, we train the base model of Metagen using the structure of all known stable materials. Once trained, we can generate novel stable materials by sampling from the base model unconditionally. To generate the material given desired conditions, we further fine tune this base model by adding conditions to each layer of the network using a control net style parameter efficient fine tuning approach. Uh, the condition can be anything like a specific chemistry, symmetry, or any target property. Uh, once fine-tuned, the model can directly generate materials given desired conditions. Uh, since we use fine-tuning, uh, we only need a small label data set uh, to generate the materials given the corresponding condition, which is actually very useful for the users, because it's usually computationally expensive to generate a property label data set for materials. Here's an example of how Metagen generates novel materials in the strontium vanadium oxygen chemical system. It generates candidates with lower energy than two other competing methods, random structure search and substitution. The resulting structure looks very reasonable and is proven to be stable using computational methods. Uh, Metagen also generates materials given desired magnetic, electronic, and mechanical properties. The most impressive result here is that we can shift the distribution of generated material towards extreme values compared with training property. This is very significant because most of the material design problem involves finding materials with extreme properties, like finding super hard materials, uh, magnets with high magnetism, which is difficult to do with traditional search and based methods and is the key advantage of generative models. Our major next step is to bring these generative AI design materials into the real life making real-world impact in a variety of domains like battery design, solar cell design, and carbon capture. One limitation is that uh, we only have val validated these AI generated materials using computation. Uh, we're working with experiment partners to synthesize them in the wet lab. It is a non-trivial process, but we keep improving our model, getting feedbacks uh, from the experimentalists. And we're looking forward into a future uh, where generative AI design materials can make real-world impact in a broad range of domains. Here's a link to our paper in case you want to learn more about the details. We look forward to any comments and feedbacks that you might have. Thank you very much.